Welcome to the grand finale! Last time we defeated all members of the Elite Four, and with these flashing lights on the sides of the stairs, we are going to challenge our greatest enemy yet. <laughs> Welcome, I was looking forward to seeing you here one day. You, what did you see on your journey with Pokemon? What did you feel meeting so many other trainers like you? What has awoken in you? I want you to hit me with it all. Now bring it! My absolute favorite champion battle theme in the entire franchise. I shit you not. I freaking love this music. I love this battle. Everything about Steven's battle, the build-up, everything about it. I love the third generation, and this is one of the reasons why. I friggin' loved his team, despite the fact it was a single type instead of very, like, uh, Gary or Cynthia. Um, no! Quad resist stat bonus means this thing is gone! Or quad resist stat bonus? Or quad weakness stat bonus. Means this thing is down! And yeah, this is what I meant by pathetically easy. <sighs> Cradly! Uh. Yes, because I don't want to be hit with a. Uh... Shit, I just realized I don't have anything that's that good. Um. Flygon? Go? Okay! Not like I'm gonna get much use out of it otherwise, but okay! <laughs> Oh, and in case you're curious as to why I didn't do the whole uh, trainer analysis thing like I did with the gym leaders and- Ooh, paralysis! And, uh, the aqua leader Archie. The reason why I did that was because, well, do I really need to spoil what their teams are? I mean, just look at it. We're witnessing a grand battle here. And, yay, I actually hit with it! Not like it's that effective, but... Fuck you. Ah, uh, cradly, 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 cradly. I actually chose the, um, okay. Remember, I should have mentioned this. Back in the Desert Ruins, there are two fossils, and they produce Pokemon, the Pokemon Lily and Armaldo. Not Armaldo. Armaldo is the evolution of the Pokemon. Uh, okay. Anorith and Lily. I chose Lilith when I first played this game, but when I was recording, but in my recording playthrough for the Let's Play, you son of a bitch, I chose Anorith, because I like Anorith better, but I didn't realize how good Cradling was, and, oh god, it's gonna hit itself. Or not! Flygon, you are awesome. You're even more awesome! Whew. Oh, and damn! Flygon just doesn't know how to be confused well. And it sure knows how to paralyze effectively. And it sure knows how to deal damage decently, too. And again, it knows how to paralyze well, and... Saw this coming. I think it just, uh... I think he just used his, uh, only full restores. <sighs> so, I just... Oh, yeah. I think I yeah, I know I said this when I was fighting Wallace. You'd be fighting Wallace as the champion in Emerald, and instead the eighth gen leader would be would be Wallace's mentor, Juan. And uh, that Kingdra that Juan has, not fun to fight. Um why don't I try paralyzing it? Not like it's gonna help much, but okay. Try and giga draining me all you want. You're not gonna kill me. I'm gonna kill you first. Hooray! Say, does Dragon Breath ever miss? Say, has Dragon Breath ever missed either? I forget. Um, Claydol, this thing I want to have Swampert for. Having a Blaziken is a good idea too. Although Sceptile will have advantages against uh, Claydol at least. So, um, Surf it is. Actually, I'm gonna shut up for this.
Ah, uh, Metagross. Metagross, Metagross, Metagross. This thing is good as hell. And need I mention, this thing is at level 58. The highest level Pokemon you will ever fight in the main adventure. Just don't expect to defeat it on your first time if you're not prepared. If you are prepared, it's a pushover. And I was prepared, so it's a pushover. Um, okay, Armaldo. He always tends to use Armaldo last. I never understood that. Why do you always use Armaldo last? Like, you're, at, you're throwing your best Pokemon out before one that's not even that great. And, you know, maybe I shouldn't have raised my Pokemon until the 60s. Maybe the higher 50s? And we defeated the championship. Hooray! I, the champion, fall in defeat. Kudos to you, Nick. You are truly a noble Pokemon trainer. And we get the most money from a trainer in a game. I think. Congratulations. The feelings you have for your Pokemon. And the Pokemon that responded to those feelings with all their might. They came together as one and created an even greater power. And thus you were able to grasp victory today. You are rightfully the Hoenn Regent's new... Hey! May! How would you... How would you like some advice before you challenge a champion? Wah! May! Are you trying to tell me you've beaten the champion? See? What did I tell you, Brenda? Didn't I tell you you don't need to worry about May? May, you've finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own father at the Petal Brick Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think you've actually become the champion! Ah, yes. What became of your Pokedex? Here, let me see. And this is a result from trying to get as many Pokemon as possible for your suggestions, okay? So you've seen 163 Pokemon, and you've caught 124. You should get some more Pokemon by trading with others. Anyways, congratulations! Now go proudly into the final room! Nay, no, the new champion, come with me. I'm sorry, but from here on, only those trainers who have become champions may enter. You'll have to wait outside with the professor. It can't be helped if that's the rule. May, way to go! Congratulations! <laughs> this room. This is where we keep records of Pokémon that prevailed through harsh battles. It is here that the League Champions are honored. And it's a Pokédex healer! Or Pokémon healer! Come on. Let's record your name as a trainer who triumphed over the Pokemon League and the names of the partners who battled with you. And now we are treated to... Saving! Hooray! Level 62! Level 60! Level 61! Level 60! Level 61! And level 65! We have a Spinda that has made it into the Hall of Fame! Who would have thought that would be possible? Actually, it couldn't be possible, but... Yeah, well. We made it into the Hall of Fame. League Champion! Congratulations! And I'm not gonna explain why my time sucks again. Anyways, this is Pokémon Sapphire version's end. Well, for the main adventure, I'm going to be uploading a few bonus videos. Okay, the first bonus video, I'm going to record footage of the Safari Zone, and the remaining recordings will be capturing legendaries and cheating to get certain legendaries to show up. Like, I'm going to capture every legendary I think is worth talking about, and the funny thing is that this actually shows all the Pokémon you've caught. Like, yes, I caught a Feebas, I didn't desire to evolve it into a Milotic. I caught a Curlia too, really. I evolved a Raltzano Curlia, and then I raised into a Gardevoir. <laughs> yeah, I got as many Pokemon as I possibly could without having to trade or hack or whatever. Whatever. And it was primarily because others were suggesting. And, yep, I went and got a Slacking too. And a Crobat. It took Amazing. It's not shiny. You know, it would be funny if I saw a Sancher or a Sandslash and it actually showed itself as shiny. Holy shit, Kyogre! That's good to know. 
Um, okay. I don't think it will show every Pokemon that you've seen if you've caught, like, uh, like several, tr like, gotten every single one of them in the Pokedex. Or something like that. I have no idea. And then there's Rot, Gloom, Ninkata, Ninjask, Surskit, Tentacruel, Flagon, Plano, Raichu, Coughing, Kecleon, and Rava. One thing I always loved was that the last Pokemon they showed was always the starter Pokemon you had. But I've always loved that finale, even if I've proven it a tad easy. With a good ground type. But, ah well. Guess I went and got a Sharpedo. Um, it's probably not gonna show the... Holy shit, it did show the Sand Slash, but it wasn't shiny! Talk about Contra... Reggie Ice and then Mudkip! <laughs> yeah, talk about weird, uh, orders. Braille code check! They actually had someone check the friggin' Braille code. <laughs> Paralyzation for the blind, yeah. It's as if they knew this was a language for the... Yeah, they did know that it was a language for the blind. Seriously, why? Why in bloody hell's name did they have to do that? Well, it proved an interesting scenario, and I do like it. Sort of. It just seems crazy. Ah well, the end! Be seeing you in the bonus videos.